everyone welcome to another video in this video we will explain about some facts technical facts in dynamics 365 or power apps i will show you what we are going to do you can see here in my screen this is the sales of application right and the sales of application you will see this is the account entity and if i will open any account entity then you will see this is the account form right my requirement is I want to have a custom button on this form at the command bar, command bar and whenever you click that button it should open a HTML web resource which will display all the related contacts for this account right you know this is the account right and if you click this related you can go to contacts right so these are the contacts which are related to this account my requirement is I want to have a button on the top which is called as employees you can see here i have already added you added this uh, button and whenever you click this it will open a small window as a web resource html web resource and it will display all the uh, all the related contacts of this account you can see here this is the account and these are the contacts you can see here right so in the related also these are the same records here i have implemented paging to display three records at a time right so how this is created and how this paging is done using this uh, html web resource how this check boxes has been implemented right whenever you check one record and you want to active it's already active right let's say this contact you want to deactivate then you can just click on deactivate then it will be deactivated the record that is selected will be deactivated right like that if you want to select multiple row and you want to deactivate you can also deactivate right also it is telling deactivation process complete now i have already implemented a refresh button if you click refresh it will again refresh and you can see here this is inactive right you can also uh, update usd currency usd currency that means every uh, contact is having a con uh, currency lookup right now you can also update if any contact is having different currency let's say this is having different currency and i want to update this currency of this contact as us dollar so i can just select it and I, once it is selected i can click on just update usd currency so the currency will be updated so now it is displaying australian australian dollar but as because i have updated this the value changed to us dollar if you refresh you can check it right now it is us, US dollar so i have implemented some uh, paging concept showing related entity information by taking the parent information and i, am, I have passed the uh, record id to the web resource and also here i have implemented some text box right let's say i want to update the uh, job title of this contact so i can just select and update let's say uh, something like ceo then I can click update job title so automatically the job title is updated if you refresh you can see that right right so this is how I want to build I want to show you how I have done this because most of the projects are you know having this type of requirements uh, implementing this type of checkboxes and you know um, also the paging things also the buttons to interact with your uh, dynamics records right updating records through checkboxes and all that so let us see how i have implemented this i have already created a blog uh, with the code if i'll show you if i'll show you we can uh, check it here you go to subchip.com and in the subchip.com we have blog section click on the blog and if you go to the blog you will find the blog whose name is uh, open html web resource on button click if you click this I have already given my uh, code that I have written here so that you can easily copy and paste in your code right so this is the JavaScript web resource and this is a HTML web resource right and also I have given steps how to do that uh, you can follow that but let us uh, see how I have done that in this video right so I, I want to explain how I have done this right the first thing first thing is we have to add a button on the account form right how this button is added this is a custom button this button can be added using 
ribbon workbench which you already uh, do normally otherwise you can use microsoft uh, preview mode application preview editing mode to edit that right so if you see if you log in power apps make.powerapps.com you can go to apps here you will find there is a button called as edit in preview if you click on edit in preview it will open the model driven app editor in the preview mode in power apps mode right and here you can click on this one if you want to edit account command bar then you can just click on this account three dots and click on edit command bar once you click this it will open this screen here you can click on this add command so it will add a new command and here you can mention all the properties as i have already mentioned here for a employee this is a custom button i have added and here i have given the label employee i am using an icon called as a sign right this is the icon which is available for this icon and here the you can use action two types of action one is you can run a formula a power fx formula or you can call a javascript i have already created a javascript web resource and i am calling the javascript web resource function called as show related contact and in the show related contact i am passing primary control as the parameter right so from this screen i am passing primary control as parameter and calling the function show related contact which is available in this library or javascript now i will show you what is the javascript so this is the javascript show related contacts i am passing primary control from the uh, command bar from here this is the primary control and what i have written so using this primary control i am extracting uh, i am creating a variable to store this primary control which is form context using this form context i am reading the uh, current record id which is account id right because i want to open the web resource from account so i need account id this record information i want this account id and this account id can be retrieved using entity get id data dot entity get id then i have taken another web resource variable and kept the name of the web resource which is which will be uh, which which is the html web resource so i have kept uh, this as a web resource so whenever i will create a html web resource i will give this name right and windows option you can give height width as per your need then xrm dot navigation dot web resource right so this is automatically can be used in your javascript web resource which will open the javascript web resource uh, sorry html web resource that you have given here and with window options and this account id is passed to this web resource right now this is the javascript work right so the job of this javascript is it will pass the um, account id to the web resource and the web resource html web resource will open uh, when you click the button so this is the job of this show related contact javascript now next you have to create a html web resource with this name now let me show you how i have created a html web resource so this is the html web resource you can see here the name is same so whatever name you mention here that should be same this is the prefix prefix is already there and this is the name so this is the name right contact sws dot html next in the text editor i have uh, i have already updated the source code now i will tell you about the source code because this is important so many things we have written in this html java html web resource right now the first thing is we have to place we have to use some javascript web resources sorry some javascript links and some style sheets this web resource client.global.js is used to interact with your crm data or dynamics data or power apps data or dataverse so we need to have this client global context.js.aspx so that we can interact with our dataverse data and this two script is used uh, for paging concept because i want to uh, i want to use this one right uh, paging concept data table concept this is just a, this is not just a table this is a table with data table 
uh, formatted right so to convert one table to data table you have to use this script so this is an external script uh, which is available in jquery and this is the normal jquery the second one so this three que uh, three uh, scripts you, you require next last three uh, css you require these are all style sheets right because we are you know this looks uh, uh, some beautiful right it's not uh, normal uh, table or uh, normal look and feel this is uh, bootstrap look and feel when you over your mouse it is uh, showing some effects right so for that or also you can see this button classes and all that looks uh, better right so for that the css used are bootstrap css so you have to use this links i have already uh, put this code in my blog so you can go there once you have integrated this uh, mentioned the scripts and uh, css links next thing is we have to read the account id that is passed to this web resource you can see here here we have passed this account id to this web resource right in the third parameter now how we can retrieve this account id in my web resource system web resource you can see here right this one i have taken a variable data index which will read the url index and uh, data length url length record id equal to url dot slice i am slicing the data index with data length then i am getting the processed data so when i will replace the so whenever the uh, account id is passed it will pass with the curly braces which i don't want okay so i have replaced all white spaces and curly braces to get the raw GUID of the account. Then I have created a fetch XML. Using advanced find, I have uh, created fetch XML and put it here. And in the condition, I want to dynamically pass this account ID, right? So I have mentioned here add that account ID instead of ex exact value. And here I am replacing fetch XML dot replace account ID equal to processed data. So this fetch XML will give you dynamically the fetch XML related to that con that account because this is the account ID. Now I'm using xrm.webapi retrieve multiple record passing the contact entity logical name because I want to read all contacts. So this fetch XML will re retrieve all the related contacts of this account, right? And here I am formatting a table. I have taken a variable T1 where I have mentioned the table with ID and style, whatever I need, headers, all that. Then through for loop, I am building the dynamic table row, which will display. So first, first row is the checkbox, first column is the checkbox. So input ID checkbox, okay. Then from the result entities, I am passing the contact, whatever I have retrieved, I am just displaying full name and entity transaction coordinate so whenever you want to display uh, lookup field value you have to use in this format right so your id underscore value o data community dot display dot v1 dot formatted value if you directly use like this you will not get the value so for lookup and choice field you have to use the formatted value options so that you can get the text instead of value and then I am, uh, you know, replacing the other TR in the uh, uh, re replacing the TR at the red TR uh, section with the dynamic TR and appending to the paragraph. I have already taken a paragraph below. So this is the paragraph and inside this paragraph, I am rendering the table, right? So the table is this one. So the table is this table t1 is the final table and here i am using data table uh, jquery data table to display page length 3 and display all the paging numbers and all that right so once it is rendered now this method as soon as the script loads this will create the table with paging next thing is i have taken some functions to deselect uh, select all deselect all for the check boxes you can go through this is very generic and I have taken some activate function to activate, you know, change the status of the record. Okay. So 
uh, also another some update record how I am updating records right so using uh, web API or XML HTTP request I am updating the record so the code is available you can go and analyze this because I don't want to analyze the whole code right now update job title is used to update the job title of a contact you can see here XRM web API update record is used right now that now that's all so this is how I have built this now you can also modify the code to you know to fit your requirement if you have any doubt you can comment me in my youtube channel or in my video under this video so thank you everyone i hope it will help you in your project most of the projects are, is having you know this kind of requirements passing data from account records account entity to a web resource and showing different related informations in the web resource and again uh, sending data from this web resource to the uh, database or dataverse right thank you everyone see you next time if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel because i am creating more valuable technical videos for project purposes thank you